Hello YouTube, Miles here, Paradise in a Pot, and if you're new here, welcome to my channel. I hope you take time to subscribe. We do houseplant content here, we go houseplant shopping, and I give you tips and tricks on how to best take care of your plants. I've been taking care of plants for over 35 years now, and I think I know a few things about how to make plants thrive. I don't know everything, so what I know I'd like to share with you, what I don't know I'd like to learn from you. So go ahead and subscribe, comment, and like this video. In today's video, we're going to be discussing... My 2022 houseplant swaps with other YouTubers. In 2022, I had three different YouTubers in which I've traded houseplants with via the mail uh, after watching their channels and kind of falling in love with their channels and enjoying their content, reaching out to each one of them. They're also generous and uh, also receptive. So let's get into the first one. My first houseplant swap was with Peace Lily Plants, and I'll put her information up on the screen there so you guys can go find her and subscribe to her channel. She has an adorable plant channel. She lives in the southeast, and um, she goes plant shopping, and sometimes she's with her mom, and it's really comical, the banter they have back and forth. They're really charming. So the plants uh, swap that I did with Peace Lily was back in March of this year. And the things that she sent me, and I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just talk about the uh, plants that were sent to me that are thriving to this day. Anything that's doing poorly or has died, I'm not going to mention because things happen. So it's okay. I'm not mad at any one of these folks because all the plants they sent me, for the most part, really thrived and survived. Um, and you'll see as I show pictures here. So what Peace Lily Plants, Lily over there, had sent me is she sent me this Peperomia Serpents, we think. I'm not exactly sure. But it's really thriving and growing and filled out. It's just an adorable little plant, as you can see in the photo there. The next plant that she sent me that I'm really enjoying, it's really doing well, is this uh, Epipremnum pinnatum variegatum. And actually, it's right here. I know I'm going to put a picture up. So I'll just put the picture up on the screen because I took some nice pictures. The next one that Lily had sent me was this lovely uh, Silver Glory string of hearts. And it's just doing really great. It's got a new little tendril sprout coming out there. So it's got two little vines. It's getting really long. It likes the light. It likes the grow light a lot. The next one is the string of arrows. Now, I will say that the first time I potted up the string of arrows, it started to rot. So I don't know exactly what I did incorrectly there. But the second time around, I put it into a much smaller pot with my brand new potting mix. And it seems to be thriving, as you can see in the photo there. The next one she had sent me was just a cutting of her philodendron silver stripe, which I've mixed in with uh, Kelly Hoya's philodendron too. So they're all kind of together in one pot, but it's okay because that's a pot of uh, friendship cuttings. So I enjoy that. So those are the ones that Lily had sent me that are doing really good. And Lily, I want to thank you again for all of those plants. I really love them. I really enjoy them. And I really hope the ones I sent you are thriving too. Make a video. Show me what's going on. I'd love to know. The next YouTuber that I had uh, done a plant swap what with is Kelly's Hoyas. Hi, Kelly. Her and I, we did a plant swap back in mid-September, and she was extremely generous with all the plants she had sent me. I kind of felt bad. Uh, not really bad, but it kind of felt like I should have sent her a lot more considering what she had sent me. Uh, I really enjoy all these, though, Kelly. I'm so excited. And I will say that everything Kelly had sent me is exactly thriving um, and growing new leaves. Every single plant except for one, we're not going to really talk about it, but I think it's a pretty good record considering all of these plants that are here. So let's get into it. The first one is this vanilla orchid, and as you can see, it's really doing well. It's growing uh, new leaves coming up, and I think it's really going to be happy here. The next one is this Hoya bertoni, which I absolutely adore how fuzzy the leaves are on this plant. And as you can see there, um, if you look closely, you'll see that there's some new leaves coming in on that also. The next one is the Hoya croniana black. I just think this is the cutest little Hoya. However, I think I might have rooted it upside down because it seems like all the tendrils are growing down. So I'm probably going to correct that later on. But right now it seems to be growing, so we're going to let it grow. Um, I, you know, it happens. Uh, Hoya obscura, which is one of the parent plants of the Hoya Sunrise. 
As you can see, I have two active growth points on that really coming in nicely. Leaves coming in. I can see it right from here. New leaf came in this morning that wasn't there yesterday. So I'm really excited for this one. It's growing really well. The next one is the Hoya Paculata. And I just adore these big chunky leaves. They almost look like an uh, uh, elm leaf. And they're so fuzzy and so pubescent that it's just absolutely adorable. It's sent out now. This is going to be its fourth leaves and the tendril is active growth point. So it's really uh, taken off there. The next one is this Peperomia incana, and Kelly said she was having trouble with this, so she sent me the whole plant. Now, there were two stems to it. One of them did rot almost instantly, and that's okay because the main one, the big one there, and you can see in the photo, has uh, not only grown new leaves on the top, it started one, two, three new stems out of the nodes that were empty that Kelly was hoping to get to grow. So, Kelly, I've done the growth for you. Uh, apparently, I, I, I have a knack with that one. I don't know. Peperomias, I've just barely learned. So uh, I'm glad to see it's doing well for me, and I hope it continues to do so. Uh, the next one is this Hoya Carnosa Freckles, which is just absolutely adorable. I love this new leaf that's come in. It's just so big and so just there. I love it. Then we have the Hoya Memoriae, which is adorable. It almost reminds me of uh, a public calyx, but with slightly smaller leaves. It's really got nice splashy leaves, and it does have uh, three active growth points that are really coming in with new leaves. So I'm excited to see where that goes. I'll probably have to get a trellis for that one fairly soon because it is getting pretty long and it's the stem is pretty thin so it's going to need a trellis to grow upright. The next one on the list that she had sent me is this Hoya Potsii and it is the only one that has just today given me a new leaf. Uh, I thought it was appropriate that it shot one out quick for this video because it was the one I was going to say that hasn't given me a new leaf but lo and behold it uh, I wanted to be part of the gang so it spit out a new leaf for us just this morning so I'm really happy to see that. And then the next one is the Hoya uh, mendoriensis, and that one is just doing fantastic. It's gotten one, two, three new leaves, and there's another new growth point coming out at the base of it. So I'm really excited to see that one take off. And then the last one here that I have a photo of is the uh, Hoya epipremnum pinatum shangri-la. And she had sent me two vines of that, which I chopped up immediately because none of them had roots. And I rooted all of them to make several uh, growth points. So this one should really be taking off. And I do see that there's a new leaf coming in. So I'm excited to see that one growing. That was absolutely, Kelly, the most endearing wish list plant that I just cannot believe you shared that with me considering you had just received that plant. So I want to thank you again, Kelly, for all of those. And let you know they're all doing really good. Now the last uh, but not least... YouTuber here that I shared with over the last year, not shared with, traded with. Uh, we, this is a trade that just actually recently happened, and that's with Jacqueline's Jungle, and you may have seen the unboxing of that recently. And she had sent me a few plants that really did great. So let's start off with the uh, Epipremnant Orium Golden Green. And you can see in the photo there that it's really taken off, and I even took a second photo to show you that the roots are coming in nicely. So I think that, that we're going to really have a great success with this. If it wasn't already so chilly here, I would have probably cut it up into multiple pieces just to uh, make a fuller pot of it. But for right now, I'm just going to let it root. I'm going to pot it up with the other one that I had gotten from Peace Lily Plants to make a fuller plant. And then in the spring, I'll probably chop it up where it's a little easier to propagate things when the roots come in better. So that's that one. The next one is this Philodendron Hastatum. And that one rooted almost three days after being here. It was like ready to root. So I potted it up because uh, they all came without pots, which, no, 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 I'm, I'm going to take that back. They didn't all come without pots, but that one came without a pot. And um, the Hastatum has already sent out a new leaf. It's growing well. It's growing strong. I love it. It's beautiful. The next one is the uh, Philodendron of AFF Burl Marks Fantasy. Now on this one, I did take the bottom leaf off because it was kind of yellowing and didn't look the best. And as soon as I did that, the roots really started coming in on that node. And it is, uh, I could probably even show you here quick. You can see that the roots are coming in on that. And I'm about ready to pop that up as soon as I can find some horticultural charcoal, which has seemed to have become a bit of a hard thing to find. Anyhow, moving on. The next one we have is the uh, Epipermanent Pinatum Baltic Blue. This one she sent in, it was in dirt, and that's why I had to take back my statement. Uh, it's the first plant that I'd ever received in potting mix. It was packaged really well. If you watch my unpacking, you'll see that. So kudos to Jacqueline. She really knows how to pack a plant with dirt. Uh, 
that being said, I took it from being, she was trying to look like fill it into the pot to make a fuller pot. And some of those roots were starting to grow, but I sent it up a pole. So I'm going to set it up a pole and try to get the fenestrations back on this plant because it looks like it's had some fenestrations and I really want to see them come back. And then I'm going to mix it with um, uh, the Hoya Baltic Blue that Kelly had sent me to make one big plant. Uh, the next one I have is the Philodendron Ubensis White Wizard. Now this plant, I have to say, uh, right off the bat, I made the mistake of setting, it was in sphagnum moss when it was shipped to me, and I set it into a bucket of water, which made it just absolutely saturated. So, kind of against my own rules, I usually like to let a plant acclimate for a couple of days at least before I throw it into soil, but I had no choice to throw this into soil. Uh, it didn't seem to mind. The leaves went from standing upright, which it kind of did in shipping, to laying out more flat, and I thought that was more of a appropriate uh, kind of positioning for this kind of plants, considering the kind of lights I give everything here. And uh, it absolutely sent out a new leaf almost immediately after being potted up. So, and here I can even pull it back out. It's right here. So you can see this little guy has really taken off. And uh, I'm excited. I'm, I'm training it so it doesn't bend so much. But it already has another leaf coming out. So I, I'm, I'm excited to see it. I'd be excited more to see some of that white variegation in it. But I'm not worried about it. I think this is going to happen no problem. So we'll put that back there in the light. And then the last one on here is the Hoya uh, fungi. And the Hoya's, uh, the Hoya didn't come in so great. It was kind of uh, dry and, and really the, the, it wasn't very turgid, the leaf. Uh, I put it in this propagation. I don't know if you can see it in the frame here. And it's since, I think in the last two or three days, I have seen it now become turgent. So I feel that there's root development going on in there. I'm not going to mess with it. I'm going to leave it be until I see some growth point come out of it, or I feel that it's ready to be potted up. If I see roots in the sphagnum moss, I might pull it out and say, okay, let's pot this up. But I think it's going to pull through. It's looking good. It's like I said, it looks very turgent. It's been looking wrinkly. So I think, like I said, it started to develop roots and I think we're going to be okay. So those are the plants that I've received in 2022 as houseplant swaps with other YouTubers. Which one did you guys like? Which plant did I get that you'd want to get? And which one of these YouTubers are you going to reach out to now and see if you can do a plant swap with? I'd say all of them are fantastic. They're all really receptive. Jacqueline's a little more busy than the others, and I think because she's trying to do something else with her channel, and that's fantastic. But Kelly and uh, Lily both were very responsive, and everything went smooth. So make sure you go check out all their channels and see what plants they got for me. Anyhow, guys, I'm going to ask you one more time. If you can, please subscribe to my channel. We've just recently reached 300 viewers, so I'm coming through to think about what I'm going to have as a little giveaway because I did say we're going to have a giveaway at 300 viewers. So I'll be announcing that in my next full-length video. So make sure you're subscribed to see that. Give me a thumbs up, and we'll see you in the next one. Happy planting. Bye.